going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty Lego right here. And uh, yeah, today we're looking at a really cool TIE Fighter that came out of uh, the Star Wars, a S solo a Star Wars story. And that is the 75211, had 519 pieces, four minifigs, retailed for 90 Canadian or 70 US, and came out in 2018. Um, honestly, this set's really good. I didn't expect it to be much of an improvement off the 2012, but there's some key differences and they really make a bit of a difference. Um, we'll be doing a comparison one of these days, but I just thought I'd center in at this specific model um, because I honestly like it quite a bit. And we're also going to compare it against the uh, pics, you know, movie footage pics to see how accurate it is, as well as for those of you that are looking for the um, movie clip, just look in the link in the description and that will take you to that. Uh, but yeah, enough talk. Let's get right into it. So let's first take a look at the set itself. So if you give you guys a 360 view. So honestly, as we knock over the Tobias minifig, beautiful set. Really um, think that Lego did a good job. Now the wings are very similar to the 2012 version, um, but the windshield is a lot different. It's a lot thinner. So I'll just open that up. Show you guys. So nothing too crazy, but very effective little cockpit. We'll actually put the minifig in there just to kind of show you guys how it works. So he fits in there nice and snug. And there he is. And then also, obviously, we'll check the flick fire missiles out. They work fantastic. Um, so yeah, just really cool looking model. I really do like it. It's very sturdy as well. Um, I mean, this would actually be a good set to do a drop test off of because it really is actually well made. And then I really actually liked the um, engine piece as well. Uh, the, well, the whole engines, how they kind of designed them. And then what's funny is this piece has been around for years. In fact, I think this exact piece was around for the very first TIE Fighter that came in 2001. So you know what, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And that's kind of the mentality behind this set. Um, but that's the TIE Fighter itself. Now, let's take a look at the minifigs. So here we have the four minifigs. And honestly, I have to say, I think Lego did a great, great job off of these minifigs. So first off, let's start off with the uh, TIE Fighter pilot. So there you guys go. Another angry clone face. Um, but anyways, nice looking minifig besides that. Just kind of annoyed as usual about that. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool looking minifig. He has leg printing as well. So they did a good job. And then we have the Aminban Stormtrooper. And honestly, he may be my favorite minifig out, the, out of the entire lot. Just, I mean, they even have foot printing on this guy. So just great looking minifig. I'm gonna open up the mask, even though we all know what it is. Another angry clone face, but really nice looking minifig. And then um, I'll also show you guys the back. So give you guys a little bit of a view. He does have back torso printing as well, which is pretty cool. So just really cool looking stormtrooper. I love how they're actually making within stormtroopers. Now there's a uh, you know, more unique looking ones. They're not just the standard white ones. This guy has Mimban camouflage and a bit of dirt, obviously, on him. And then moving on, we got Tobias Beckett. And honestly, he's a pretty cool looking minifig. Um, I'll take off his little cap. Get a little bit better view of what he looks like. So good looking minifig. Uh, he also has back torso printing, obviously. So I, I think they did a pretty good job on that minifig. And then we got Han Solo, who by far has the most detail. Now, I love his little mask. I think they did a great job at that. And he does have back face printing, so he has angry face. Then he has more of a calm face. And then he also as well has a back torso printing as well. I love these little um, garments, these little... Uh, 
basically like little coats they got on these minifigs. Really cool. So just awesome looking minifigs. I love the variety they're adding into minifigs nowadays. Um, they're really trying to uh, change it up. And I mean, they're doing that with the Star Wars, Star Wars universe as well. We're getting so many different Imperial troopers. Although some people say it's just a cash grab, which is probably partly true, but still some really cool looking minifigs. But those are the minifigs. Now let's take a look at the picks and uh, compare it against the uh, set just to see how accurate this set is. All right, so to start off, I thought we'd take a look at this mock of a TIE Fighter. And the caption is, the perfect LEGO TIE Fighter minifig scale. Uh, so honestly, yeah, they did a pretty good job on this. I'd actually like to compare uh, custom sets against, um, you know, the actual LEGO set, because that's actually a pretty good looking model. I still think the LEGO one's pretty good. Here's an action figure depiction. So, I mean, I think the LEGO one honestly did a good job off of it. Um, it's not bad. They just did, did this new thing with uh, how they bring up images, but whatever. It looks not bad. Here's the uh, TIE Fighter. So this is obviously the movie footage. Here's another uh, you know, pic of what it looks like. So I think that LEGO actually did capture this well. I actually really want to compare this against the uh, old black and blue TIE Fighters just because it's crazy what they kind of look like. Here's a really good picture that we can kind of compare it against. Um, it is a uh, drawing conception, but we can see that Lego did a good job. The only thing is the head could maybe be a little bit more circular. Um, that's the only thing I could maybe see that Lego could improve on with this, uh, basically tie with this ship. But still, I think Lego did a pretty good job. Here's another artist conception of the Tie Fighter. So I think Lego really did nail it. I think it does look pretty good. Um, it's just that the sphere, it's not quite making that in the face. It's making it to a point. And here's another point, not to get super picky, but it's supposed to be green little torpedoes or laser blasts that come out of the TIE Fighter, not red. So I don't know why LEGO can never get this right. Here's a really good picture as well. Um, this kind of gives you a bit more of an idea of what it looks like. I think this is off a video game or something. Um, but yeah, yeah. Anyways, I think that they did a good job on the TIE Fighter. Those are the pictures. I thought they'd help. Here's one more. So I think Lego did knock this out of the park. I am anxious to see the UCS and to see, uh, you know, if it really made that much of a difference. Um, I actually just wanted to show this as well because I thought this was kind of crazy. This is how much smaller Darth Vader's TIE Fighter was than a normal TIE Fighter. Like, I know it is a little bit fatter, but it's just, it is actually quite a bit smaller uh, in size. Uh, anyways, that's the last picture I thought we'd look at. But yeah, those are the pictures I thought that they would help out with the review. And one last picture, I promise. Here's the TIE Fighter from Rogue One. I just thought I'd bring this up. That was actually an alternate ending, but it never really made sense with the uh, movie. That's why they took it out. But anyways, you can basically pretty much see how the TIE Fighter looks in this picture. Um, I just think that LEGO did a good job. And also, if you guys haven't checked that alternate ending, definitely do that because it is pretty cool. Well guys, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, honestly, I think they did a really good job, especially for the um, scale that this set's at. I've yet to build the UCS model of this. Um, I do own it uh, and I will eventually be bringing that out. But this set's actually really good. Um, I like the minifigs included with it. I really liked um, how they changed the windshield piece. It may not be a big deal, but the window has changed to a more flat uh, look, which is honestly more accurate with the TIE Fighter. There's tiny little inaccuracies, like those little torpedoes should be probably green than red. But I mean, it's a tiny little thing. Who really cares? Um, but if we're getting really picky, that was one thing that I noticed. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set. Do you like it? Do you not? Uh, do you feel that LEGO could maybe improve on it a bit? Um, I don't know if they can, but you know, I'm anxious to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But take care. I'll catch you on the next one.